Yo, yo, YouTube. What's cracker like a jack of smacking? It's Waffle Man for video. And today, I want to know where are the games for the PS4 and the Xbox One? I mean, it's been how many months? December, January, February, March, April, and now it's May. So it's been six months since the release of those next gen consoles. You know, the same consoles that can't run some games at 60 frames per second. It's the same consoles that don't run everything at 1080p. Yeah, I'm talking about those consoles, mainly the Xbox One. You know, the Xbox One, you gotta step your game up a little bit. You've been dragging a, a little bit behind the PS4. But where are the games for these consoles? Now, I'm not saying that these consoles have absolutely no games. But it's been six months and we were promised, you know, a couple of games, you know. Like, for example, what happened to Drive Club for the PS4? I mean, Drive Club was supposed to come out during the release of the PS4. It didn't come out. We were promised that Drive Club would come in March. And that still didn't come out. And they also promised that there would be a free version of Drive Club for people who own PlayStation Plus. So that still hasn't come out. And now we're getting the information that Drive Club is going to be... 30 frames per second and I mean is this not next gen gaming I thought next gen game was supposed to be 1080p 60 frames per second and we still can't even get that I mean PC is still on top with its specs because you could build any PC you want however much powerful you want you could put as much money into a PC as you can in the console and even more beyond that so you know, other than a couple of ports, the games on next gen aren't really next gen to that level yet. Yes, Battlefield 4 is completely new to console players, but if you played the PC before and you played Battlefield on the PC, it's not going to be new to you at all because you played Battlefield 3. Just like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the on the next gen consoles. That only has a little bit of graphical change, and it's just like Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, the graphics aren't a big jump from the current gen PS3 and 360 to next gen PS4, Xbox One. Now, Killzone Shadowfall is one of those games that just has tremendous graphics. It's, it's beautiful, and you know, it's, we didn't even know that the game was not running at a standard 60 frames per second online. It was running actually below that standard for Killzone and nobody even knew it but we found out that it was running below at below 60 frames per second unstable but still the game still looks tremendous but it's been like how many months six months now like where are all the games at where's the order I mean we did have some games come out like you know infamous second son which was a very short game it wasn't very short, but it was a game that you could complete in a game. I mean, you could complete in a day if you played it straight through, you know, ditch some of the side quests and stuff like that, which are mostly, anyways, they're really mechanical and they're not even necessary. Titanfall came out like two months ago, but what happened to Titanfall? You know, I don't see a lot of people talking about Titanfall. Now, I have Titanfall for the PC, and I'm playing it with the time I have and you know I, I, like I said in my my uh, preview video my first impressions video I love Titanfall I think you know Respawn Entertainment they have a, a flagship with that title that title could be a big hit if they just executed it a little bit more correctly so Titanfall 2 could be a game worth waiting for it, it is gonna be a game worth waiting for actually but why did everyone stop talking about Titanfall it seems like nobody even puts up any Titanfall gameplay, and I don't put up any Titanfall gameplay because obviously I can't because I don't have the necessary requirements to record it on my PC yet until I get probably another monitor that has two HDMI slots. But until then, I'm not going to be putting up any Titanfall or any other PC game for the matter of fact anytime soon. But still, for the YouTube world, it seems like nobody's putting on Titanfall. I mean, have you even seen anybody talk about Titanfall? Other than Shakedown 2012, you know, for you guys that know the 2K community, 
I really haven't seen that many people put up Titanfall that much. Which is strange. And you know, I've played the game and I could see that it could get a little bit boring sometimes. But that's only because of the lack of content in the game. So now we're standing in May and all these games are getting old really quick. And we still don't have all those other games that are supposed to come out. And not only that, but we don't really have any AAA titled games. I mean, I guess if you want to count If From Second Son as that, you can. But, you know, what about the games like Destiny that comes out later this year? Watch Dogs comes out this month, which I'm really looking forward to. So, I guess we're really gonna start seeing some more games during this time in the season of gaming. Even though summer is when gaming becomes really dry and, you know, that's when gamers go play games that they haven't really played before. So this month we got Watch Dogs and if you have a PS4 and you haven't played The Greatness of The Last of Us, that also comes out next month, Remastered. Now, Remastered games and Definitive Editions like Tomb Raider did, those games are not really part of this next gen. I mean, they do have upgraded graphics, upgraded, you know, animations and stuff like that. But those shouldn't be counted as games for this generation. I mean, do we really just want a bunch of remastered games from last generation? I mean, come on, it's only been a year since those games come, came out. Only a year. And for you to not play Tomb Raider or Last of Us last year, and now you're you know, buying a PS4 to maybe play Last of Us. Maybe you have an Xbox One and or an Xbox 360 and you haven't played Last of Us. Then I guess it'd be a good idea to get a PS4 now. But it's still safe to say that there's still no games or there are barely any games. I mean, in, in the month of March, Xbox One only had two games released. So I wonder when we're going to be getting a whole lot of games to come out because it's probably not looking too good for these consoles right now. Especially since there's no backwards compatibility and the cloud service streaming rental thing that Microsoft and Sony have planned haven't been released yet. They've been tested, but they haven't been announced or a day hasn't been officially released about when that is coming. But if you know what E3 is and you're a hardcore gamer, then next month is going to be very enticing and very interesting to see what people have to show at E3, what Sony and Microsoft have to show at and deliver, what games they're going to talk about, and even the future of the PS4 and the Xbox One. Oh, and also, Nintendo is skipping E3 again. Ha! It's pretty funny since the Wii U is at the bottom of the console war right now. And I mean, I don't even know who owns a Wii U. Does you guys own a Wii U? Tell me if you own a Wii U. Tell me if you even care about the Wii U. But anyways, YouTube, let me know your thoughts. Leave a like, please. Likes help, you know, get my videos more recognized. Subscribe if you haven't. 2K14 channel right here. And also gaming channel in general. And yeah, I'm also going to be cutting back a little bit because I got a few tests to take this week and next week. But I'm still going to be pumping out those videos. So I'm out, YouTube. Peace.